After Effects is a leader when it comes to creating motion graphics. It is also capable of creating realistic and professional visual effects and compositing. However, is it any good at creating 3D graphics? Well, that is what we will find out in our video. 3D graphics are the representation of geometric data, which are generated using a computer, hence being called CGI. The process of making 3D graphics involves many steps that vary depending on the subject, but usually start with conceptualization, then modeling, sculpting, texturing, animating, and finally rendering. If you're making a 3D animated movie, another step that could be added is adding visual effects or motion graphics to your work to give it something special. Now, you might be wondering where does After Effects come into all of this and what are the steps where you can actually use it in? Well, let's explore that. After Effects is definitely not the right software for the first part of the creation of 3D graphics. You cannot use it to model, sculpt, texture, or rig a 3D object like you can do in Blender, ZBrush, or Maya. There are some tricks that After Effects users rely on to create an illusion of 3D graphics, whether using multiple pictures of the same object in different rotations, or simply drawing the object and layering it in a frame-by-frame -frame animation kind of way. But nothing has three dimensions in the true sense of the word when it comes to After Effects. So if you just want a fake 3D look, all you have to do is use the software's different tools and features and loads of creativity to produce the illusion of 3D. There are plenty of tutorials that show you how to create these illusions for specific purposes, but you can also take these tricks and apply them to your own idea and what you want to make look three-dimensional. However, if you're looking for 3D, like true 3D, you are on the wrong Adobe product altogether. You would need a powerful software that deals with this kind of graphics, such as the software we just mentioned, Blender, Maya, or ZBrush. These are software that are dedicated to the creation of 3D graphics, where you will be doing all the modeling, sculpting, texturing, rigging, animation, and rendering. Adobe has its own line of 3D graphics editors, if you're looking for that Adobe experience. Instead of lumping everything in a single software, Adobe takes a different approach and has a software for each step of the process. Adobe Substance 3D Painter is for texturing 3D models. Substance 3D Sampler is for creating 3D materials and light using real-life images. Substance 3D Designer is made for the purpose of designing parametric 3D assets. And finally, Substance 3D Stager is where you compose and render your 3D scenes. But what about modeling? Well, Adobe has a software for that, but it is in the works. It's the Substance 3D Modeler Beta. It's a 3D graphics editor made for sculpting and modeling and allows you to do so on both desktop and using virtual reality. What a cool concept! The world of 3D is vast. There are even apps that allow you to sculpt, such as Forger and Nomad. If you're interested in this sea of 3D possibilities, we recommend our channel dedicated to this world, Inspiration Tuts, where we go deep in 3D matter. Pun intended. Okay, now that we have yelled enough that After Effects is not good for 3D graphics creation, or at least the first step of it, what is it good for then? Upon finishing your animation, rendering, and exporting it as a video, you might want to add some special effects and motion graphics to it to make it more compelling, whether it's just a 360 turnable animation loop or a full-on short movie. You can use After Effects visual effects and motion graphics capabilities to add an HUD effect, a cinematic looking light effect, a muzzle flash, and so many other effects. That is where After Effects shines and can help you take your renders to the next level. If you're interested in knowing more about what After Effects can do in terms of visual effects creation, make sure to check out our video, Is After Effects Good for Visual Effects? If you are completely new to After Effects and want to know more about what else it can do besides visual effects, we can't recommend our video, What is After Effects Enough? This is it for our video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something of value to you. Comment below if you think that we've missed something or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always and see you next time.